This has to be the best video on YouTube today. Making Nigerian meat pie with a toaster. <laughs> Guys, you want to watch this to the very end. You also want to give me a like, a nice comment. Also share this video to your family and friends and tell them, see, you no longer need an oven to make meat pie at home. <laughs> Chef Grace here and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. going to be using the normal meat pie ingredients which are minced beef, Irish potatoes, some peppers, onions, cooking butter, flour, baking powder, seasoning, thyme and carrots. So now let's prep our ingredients. Here I'm mixing one spoon of flour in water to use as a thickener so the fillings will be moist and not dry. Now let's make our fillings. You're going to add some vegetable oil in a pan, you're going to add your beef, add your diced potatoes, your onions, your carrots. You're going to season this with pepper and your bouillon cubes. You're going to also add some salt and then allow this to cook properly and then set aside to cool completely. Emphasis on cool completely. and also add half tablespoon of baking powder and some salt yeah so add salt because meat pie is meant to be savory and not sweet then I'm going to add my cooking butter and then use my fingertips to mix the butter into the flour like this with our fingertips till we get this consistency and this takes a lot of time and patience then we'll be mixing with water or milk if that's what you're using in beets please because we don't want the floor to get sticky we want the floor to be soft enough to be worked on but not sticky I'm sure you don't want that if you got the right measurement your dough should look like this soft and easily malleable also not sticky I'm going to cover it up for 10 minutes to allow it to rest. It's time to prepare our toaster that will be saving as an oven. 
yes yeah, so i'll be oiling the toaster with vegetable oil you can also use melted butter if that's what you have our dough is well rested now so i'm going to knead this for a while then use my rolling pin to flat it out thinly we want each layer of the dough to be very thin depending on the type of toaster you are using you will size your dough according to the shape of the toaster plate you'll be making the bottom layer and also the top layer when that is done you're going to place your fillings on the dough then cover up with the top layers if you're new here and you've watched to this point i honestly honestly appreciate you you're the real mvp also please don't forget to click the subscribe button down at the right hand corner to my oldies i appreciate your support so much but you see my like section it looks really sad can you tap on it for me <laughs> and also share this good news to people you know who've been needing it thank you As you can see I'm done covering my fillings now I'll be oiling the top of the dough then I'll plug in my toaster then I'll be using a plastic cutter to cut out the lefties um, of the dough from the side of the toaster also note if you don't have any plastic cutter please do this part before plugging in the toaster for 15 minutes also know that your toaster indication lights will be going on and off as if your toast is ready ignore it till it has reached the 15 minutes mark remember you are using raw dough not ready-made bread by this time you're sure that your meat pie is ready now look at that brownness deliciousness so I unplug my toaster first because I wanted to use um, a metal a stainless knife to take out my pie so yeah however you choose to serve it i decided to cut mine into these triangular shapes now you're going to allow this to cool and then serve with chilled fanta i hope you enjoyed this video and you're going to try this out don't forget to like share and drop a nice comment i'm going to see you guys later